train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to National Land Bodybuilding. And today I'm outside freezing because uh, it seems like we lost fall. We just went right from summer to winter. So I don't know what happened, man, but it is cold. Ugh, it's cold, it's cold. So, so today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about taking ego out of your training. Now, somebody just asked me in the comment section, they said, how do they take their ego out of the training? Because they wanna try partial squats, they wanna try 90 degree squats, they wanna try different ranges of motion, but they're afraid of what other people in the gym will think of them. This is the ego trap that a lot of people get caught in. They, they get caught up in impressing people instead of doing what works. And if you're caught up in impressing stupid people, especially stupid people, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. It's kind of like the whole peer pressure thing, you know? Kids are like, hey, why don't we uh, jump off a bridge? And you're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do it because what will they think of me if I don't jump off the bridge too, right? So this type of stupidity, if you buy into it, you're never really gonna evolve because you're forced to live your life according to the opinions of idiots. Now the crappy part is if you have your ego heavily invested in your training, a lot of times that's when the fear will come up of trying something new. You'll be like, what if this doesn't work? What if that doesn't work? Like there's too much emotional attachment or you have too much of an invested interest in being important instead of actually playing and experimenting and becoming creative with your training and finding out what works, right? Because fear is pretty much the bane of all creativity, right? Whenever you are in fear or you're afraid to try something new, what happens is that you keep on sticking to what is the established way that things are done, right? So a lot of people will just stick with what they know is, is kind of uh, universally accepted by the general crowd, right? But they never become an innovator that way. You will never become an innovator if you just stick to what has been said and what the average flock of sheep are doing. You will never become a leader doing that. You will never find out what truly works for you either because you might be doing something that is based in uh, what is the set average of what works for you. So if you like take 100 people and there's a general thing that threads through all those people that works to gain some muscle or to lose some body fat, that doesn't mean that's the highest evolution of what can work for you. There will be some subtle tweaks that you could do to your training that might only work for you and not work for a lot of the other people because of your own individuality. So this is where your own creativity and your own relationship with this moment is so important and not following someone else that has uh, maybe a different body maybe a different situation, a whole different level of rules going on. And if you follow their rules, you're not necessarily going to find your own expression, right? So without sounding too flaky or anything here, the bottom line is that your body has uh, certain rules that will be subtly different. And I've talked about this a million times. So you guys are probably bored to death with hearing me say this, but you will not discover this if you just do the set status quo, the, the set thing that what the ego guys in the gym are saying works. Because look at Tom Platts. Tom Platts could squat ass to the grass and get the best possible legs in the world, right? But he will even say, and I've heard him say this, that he could sit on his calves in a certain way where it didn't put pressure on his knees. But if you don't have that specific type of structure, perhaps that would be very destructive to your knees to, to squat ass to the grass. It just depends on the person and it depends on the situation. So you must find your own 
emanation of your training program. You must find your own expression of what is needed in this physical body. So I'm really introducing to you the creative artist path to the physicality. And this is where the genius is found. When this relationship with this body becomes your first priority and your ego the second priority, then some real magic can happen. The whole point of this channel is to get you to live your life the way you need to live it in order to get the best possible result and to be the most fulfilled and most happy and all that kind of stuff. So I am writing a book on bodybuilding and enlightenment. I am starting to do this right now. So I'm just in the very beginning stages. So if you guys are interested in something like that, let me know. Uh, because everything in life is about relationship. When you're in relationship with something, that means that you truly start to understand that thing that you are in relationship with, right? It's, it's almost like you and the thing that you're in relationship with become one. There is no difference between you and that. Now, when this happens, that relationship starts to become more important to you than the relationship with your thoughts or ideas about who is working out, right? You have to forget yourself a bit. And if you're doing this in a narcissistic sort of way, if you're training because you're a bit of a narcissist or you got a big ego, you're gonna do everything just because you want approval from other people. But if you want approval from other people, why don't you just stop training altogether and just go shovel their driveway or uh, dig a ditch for them or, or work for free and, and give them your paychecks because people love that. You know, if you just go and go work all week and then show up at their door and give them your paycheck, like, you know, if you're so worried about what other people think, then uh, why not take the faster route, right? Just pay them off. <laughs> so. So the thing is that training has to do with what works. And there are a lot of people in the world that are invested into an idea because they have a lot of insecurity and a lot of emotional pain wrapped up in what they're doing, but they're not really truly conducting a scientific experiment on their life and saying, what works, right? You see it all over the place. I mean, you'll see somebody living a life that's based on total dysfunction, whether it's in their training or whether it's in their work life or whether it's in their relationship life and it's totally falling apart but at the same time, they cling to it because they've got this idea that it's supposed to work instead of actually working with what works. So I'm assuming if you're watching this channel that you have a certain level of intelligence. Now, whether you want to follow that intelligence or not is gonna be up to you. It really is, you know? And if you're following for peer pressure and just doing things just because people tell you to do them, there's really nothing I can say to that because that's your choice, right? So realize you do have free will. You don't have to follow the pack just because that's what the pack has always done. I mean, the greatest minds that have ever lived on this planet always did something different or new because they said, hey, you know, everybody's kind of brainwashed here. Is this really the truth? And they went on their own discovery for what that truth is. So yeah, if you feel the need to uh, follow other people, well, that, that's okay. I'm not gonna judge you for it. You can, you can have fun with that, but it can stifle your evolution when it comes down to finding out what works. So take the ego out of your training. Don't train because you're looking for approval. If you're training because you're looking for approval, that will stifle you. You need to train because you love to train. You need to have a relationship with working out. You need to have a relationship with yourself, relationship with this experience that is in this moment, in every moment, that has to be your first priority, not in what people think of you or what you think of yourself. You need to let go of all that. Let go of the thinking. And just be with what's happening. That's the most powerful stuff you can do if you want to discover the truth for yourself and with what works in your life and in your training. So I hope this is a Nice quick little video anyway on how you can help discover the truth for yourself and take your ego out of your training. And here's a couple memes that some people made on the Facebook group. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to nashglambodybuilding.com and see you later. And bye bye. Yeah. Oh yeah, and thanks a lot to these Patreon uh, supporters because they're really helping me out here.